<laughs> Here we are, and the place is called the Slippery Noodle. And my man's already got something going in the iron skillet. What are we working on here? <laughs> He's the quiet chef. Uh, so, uh, whiskey pepper cheeseburger he's working on. The so whiskey pepper cheeseburger. Um, and, and what are the key ingredients to a whiskey pepper cheeseburger? So we use uh, brown sugar, we use Evan Williams bourbon, we use barbecue sauce, we use Worcestershire sauce, and then a mixture of salt and pepper and some steak seasoning. Okay. Now, uh, when we were on during the news program, we talked a little bit about the history of the restaurant. And, and Randy, this is fascinating. I, yeah. It goes way back, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, years and years ago, and different name changes, too. It has. It's changed names multiple times since 1850. The Yegi family owned it for the last 60 years, and then oh. myself and my partner Jason bought it uh, five weeks ago. Oh. And look at the presentation of these entrees. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to have to try one of those burgers here sometime. Well, we, ha we have a great uh, oh, cook here in Vinny. Yeah, he's George. amazing. He does some great stuff. <laughs> oh, this is good. So, um, the transition you you you've been you've owned this old place for for just 5 weeks now but um it, it really was sort of a seamless transition, wasn't it? We got lucky that we had a great long-term staff there. Most of our kitchen help have been 10 plus years. Uh -huh. um, we had several uh -huh. bartender servers that have been there for 10 plus years as well. So the staff really jumped in during the transition and made it easy easy for us. All right, the chef is yeah. silent, but tell us about yeah, what what, what, what we are making and what the keys to this. So we start. Are. Yeah, we start with the 80/20 ground beef. We use fresh ground beef, never frozen. He puts a little seasoning on it, gets it going in the cast iron skillet. Uh, once he gets that ready, he'll drop some of this whiskey pepper sauce that he makes homemade in the kitchen every day. He tops it with uh, cheese, onion ring, and a lettuce and tomato and a split bun. Oh, man. Um, now, one of the things that fascinates me about the Slippery Noodle is the fact that you have got not one, not two, but three ghosts we do. that live on the premises. And this is a fairly well-documented occurrence. It is, definitely. You, you really do? We do, 100%. I mean, do they have names or...? They have a, not that I've been aware of, but a lot of the staff will tell you different stories about seeing ghosts, about seeing lights come on and off, seeing things move on the counter. We had an incident this past Saturday where our general manager was doing his nightly walk through at the end of the night, heard kegs being thrown around down in the basement, goes down there, not a single keg was moved, oh. then he hears voices upstairs, he goes upstairs, nobody's there, the lights oh. are down, the place is locked. So there's incidents like that all the why time. Why do you think you have them? I mean, why are they there? So over the years, there's been eight people that have been murdered or killed in the building. Okay. Uh, the most famous story. Wow, buried the lead. <laughs> what? Wow. Uh, the most famous one was uh, back in the like 20s or 30s when it was a working brothel. Two gentlemen got in a fight with one of the working girls. One stabbed the other gentleman. On um, his way out, he took the knife and he stuck it in the bar, which is still our bar now. There's still a knife mark in the bar, so there's just <laughs> various sad. ghosts for the over the history there. Oh, that's okay. that's great history. Yeah. <laughs> and you are you are mildly, Sean, terrified of the ghosts. Mildly's an understatement. Okay. I, when I have to do my nightly walkthrough in the basement, I run through there because I do not want to see anything. My head is down, and I get to the okay. the exit quickly. I'd be uh, like you. I'd yeah. Be, you know, so, yeah <laughs> I want to do some eating here. Yeah. Oh, well, let's let's uh, let's 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 move this way and. Uh, um, and I love the brioche bun. The other thing I love, Chef, that you're doing that I love to do is to cover up the iron skillet. Uh, tell the folks what the benefit of that is. Well, it melts the cheese faster and also cooks the burger. Yeah. Okay. Melts right. the cheese faster is what the chef tells me. So you're going to get a mouthful. Yeah, That's a big burger it. there. I'll go ahead and try it. Okay. This is a manly, manly burger. So. We give you very healthy portions there. You never leave hungry. All right, let's see here. Ooh. Ma'am. Okay. This is a big one here, George. Yes, it is. Yeah. And cooked perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. You know, it's, it's <laughs> funny. I, I, um, we, always, we always talk about grilling out as the weather gets warmer, but I don't think you can top a burger on an iron skillet. Do you, is, there, is there butter all around the burger, too? I don't know. He does not use butter. He does not. Wow. Okay. It's probably healthier than my burger. Then. <laughs> is this I, your number one item? It's, it's, it's up there. Oh, we do that. Our toast Italian subs are real popular. Mm -hmm. Our nachos are what one things we're famous for as well. So we sell a ton of nachos. So it's, there's a, it's a, there's an element of sort of gourmet bar food, isn't there? It is very well. So it's, uh, Chef Vinny here does a great job of creating the specials every day that are unique and fun, and the regular menu's got great food on it. Now, uh, in the next segment, we're going to go to uh, a true Indiana classic, <laughs> aren't we? We are. Tell Re us about that. Breaded tenderloin. A breaded tenderloin. Breaded tenderloin. We leave ours just a little bit thicker so it's got more chew to it. We don't okay. try and make the giant manhole cover ones that are famous in some other bars and restaurants. Uh -huh. We just want a good quality one with great breading on it. And it's something that can also be done in an iron skillet. Correctly. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. 